Welcome, guys, to the party. Welcome to it's the party. It's a loser's bracket party, and these guys are playing for their lives. We got Colin on the left and Stepan on the right. We even looked up the pronunciation before we recorded this commentary because we respect you so much, Stepan. I nailed it, didn't I? I think so. I'm what sure. up, Tim? How are Not you? Much. I'm good. We have a noise player, Steven. We have noise in the, the Loser's Bracket Top 8 release. So this is... Uh, this is, is, is it loud in here? Or is it just me? This is one of those... Whoa, we got some noise. Whoa. It's a little noisy. Uh, we got Colin. We got, so we got HB, what I can only assume is Global Food Initiative, HB. Uh, and then we have noise, which I can only assume is wild side chronotype. Got some stroking uh, of the sleeves over there. Straight up noise. We've I bet got it's our, just a noise. We got our click trackers on the board. Colin rocking it, just making it a party. I love it. So good. I hope he tracks them well. We've got our opening shuffles, opening draws happening, and look at the Jackson Howard as our savior playmat. Does that playmat look huge? It's it's big. That's big. It's not that big. That would cause issues in a big tournament where you're sitting literally thigh to thigh with your fellow we man. We could probably ask Colin how it turned out for Or lady. Him. Yeah, we should ask him. Hey, we Colin. We should ask him. In the comments, please. All right, here we go. Handshake happens. Game beginning. Now, go. Ha! This is round two of the loser's bracket. So these guys got beat the first round and both won their second round to stay alive. And only one will go on. It's for all the tuna this time. My heart will go on, Stephen. Colin, install. Draw a card, install. Woo, that's a wild opening. That gets me nervous. Why? You draw first. Colin, or I'm sorry, Steppen. Street Peddler sees three cards face down. Boom. I love Street Peddler. Face down card, face down card. What is this, Apex? <laughs> no. One for a cash. Immediately takes the money, because that's what you do. Then a chronotype, and tell me that's a wild side. It Bop. is. Or that's Aesop's. Whew. All right, so chronotype. So we Guess got, what's probably on that street peddler. We got the cash. I think wild side's definitely coming into play, Tim. I think it's so coming into play. I couldn't be more sure of anything in my life. I, if you if you ask me. What's your name, Steven? I don't know. But what I know is that Aesop's uh, wild side. There it is. Boom, it's on the side. You know what we call that, peddler. Steven? You know what we call that? Oh, but loses a clot parasite. Clot Boogity. doesn't matter. Boogity. Parasite's kind of a bummer. It's fine. All right, so wild side drawing two. We're going to kill that clot or that, sorry, that cash with Aesop's Pawn Shop gaining money, three money, money. money. And this is the, gr this is literally noise goes to church right now. Like, this is the greatest <laughs> thing that, oh, but no. Oh, that is a nasty inject. Ugh. Blarg and schmorg and dargan. <laughs> You okay, Steven? You need some water? You need some water? That is just... You, you don't want to see those caches drop out there. That's basically minus four credits, minus three, depending on where you are in the game. Cash, Deja cash. For both cash, it doesn't matter. He don't care. What am I talking about? Crazy don't hair. Know. Don't care. And so instead... So now he just gets... A ton, so it's just money. It's just so much money. What am I thinking? I, You know, I thought that this deck could have a bad thing happen to it, but it's so resilient. It's unbelievable. And then a clot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It'll turn into three money, I guess, ultimately. Millicard, I don't know. Millicard, you know. know, prevent the biotic labor, maybe, if we're worried about that out of HB, which I, I don't we're think we're not. I'm not worried about it. Installing, gaining a credit there on Colin's side of the board in this remote server. And now what? Uses the Jackson Howard? Probably, I wonder if he had to use that first. I wonder if he put an asset in there. I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. We will find out. We Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. They don't fall down, Tim. Number one rule of Weebles wobbling. <laughs> the cash is going to get trashed as three money. I I got to tell you, man. I don't... If I'm telling you, if, Ste if Steppen loses this game, it's, it's going to be a miracle that Colin pulled it off. Because this is as good as it gets for Noises opening turns. It's pretty good. No, it is not pretty good. <laughs> it is as good as it gets. As good as it gets, Steven. Inject, let's dump some more programs here. Getting rid of a wild side, pulling in a clone chip. Drawing a wild side. Yeah, drawing, getting rid of, I guess, uh, from the deck, proverbially getting rid of that uh, wild side there. As in a proverb. Is he gonna threaten that remote? No. Don't you clone ship threaten the remote? Because you've got Davids and stuff. 
It's probably a Turing, right? Math says yes. Math says you think Faust is coming out. Yeah, run it. Third click. Let's check ba. it out. Ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, it's the Turing, dude. You pull, you pull the David out, right? I think you score this one straight up. NAPD happening. NAPD. He didn't rise a Caprice, so that's good. Yeah, that's real good. And do we have an Ash? No, just an Access. It's an Access. It's a, it's a Pride of June bug. Boom. That'd be hilarious. Access the agenda. Steal and it. it's an APD. Steal it for four. You hate to do that, but you love to you do it. You hate that. to do it, but you got to do it. And there's a Cyberdax. Going to purge the clot out. So there goes there goes yesterday's money. So that, that actually is... That's pretty significant. It's pretty good. That means that uh, there's just no money. Because that clot was over three, three cash. Yeah. Three monies. All right. Well. All right, Colin. All right, man. Breaker Bay Grid. Oh. Install. Oh, that's so good with CVS in this matchup, Stephen. Install. Cyberdex virus sweep for those man, who don't Man, yeah, know. and couldn't steal and couldn't couldn't trash it. Wow. Very very cool. Okay, we got a Turing on the board. Do you go check that thing? There's a street peddler. Three cards off the top. Boom. Man, this these noise decks play like such a little anarch deck, you know? It's just like, eh, just meddling. There goes the cash. Creates, what a card. Creates the money. Brought noise back to life, let me tell you. And you know what? I don't even think he needed it. Well, maybe he did need it. He needed it. He did need it. You're right. I'm right. I said it first. But I was about to say it. And you said the, the wrong statement first. That's fair. <laughs> it's how the math works out, Stephen. And there's a data sucker. Data a suck. card there. And let's check him out. Oh, we see an NAPD. That's good to know, though. That is very good to know. And they're turned over. Yeah, Stemmer probably just goes and snipes that next turn, right? I would assume so. Unless he wants to try to protect it here. Can call him protect it. Oh, it draws Ooh. right into... He's Ooh. got two foods in hand. Food, food. Oh, man. This is like... That the is hungry. It's kind, of, it's kind of the opposite here. I feel like <laughs> Steppen uh, got a real good... Got a real good start here, and Colin not really seeing his assets super early. I think nary a hedge fund. Nary a hedge fund. Classic nary a hedge fund. Installs up over that Turing. Discard that clot for three money. Cash. A revolving door. Oh, yeah, sorry, cash. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Cash. Yeah, that was hard. Um, how First beautiful click. is Stepan's board as well? Oh, it's gorgeous. Those three alt arts. Mm. Looks that great. Castle play mat. Oh, Looks yeah. good. <laughs> and even really kind of the alt art noise there. Yeah. We need an alt art adjusted chronotype is what we need. No, we don't. You're right. Let that card <laughs> burn, you know? Pancakes. Why, I don't want to I don't want to create a card that takes away the drawbacks of other cards that were balanced. You know what I mean? What if they came out with a card? There's an Faust. Alt, an alt art chronotype that was just a close up of like a griddle. With pancakes yeah, on it. Yeah, that'd be fair. Like, I think like that's it's smiley face chocolate chips. That's yeah, that's probably reasonable actually. It's very reasonable. There's a the lamprey. Discard and card. And running uh, HQ, we it's got just three Faust. cards. It's just three cards. Who cares? It's just three cards. Stephen does. And then there's the R and D. Bop. Wrap around. the wrap around. Where's your David? You want to use it? Where's your David? Do you now? use it? Yep. Nope. Not using it. Not worth it. Saving those David counters. Install an upgrade over HQ and taking two credits. So Colin trying to get back in the money here has not seen his assets. You really do want to see those early against noise because he usually can't afford to trash anything. Unless he sees that imp. And uh, there we go. Steppen just, just continuing the, the pain train here. Getting money every turn. Ins and outs. Hmm. Yeah, tough. I want to get an APD ASAP. I do too. I'm feeling that way as well. There it goes. Hey, called it. Sees an Ichi and grabs the NAPD. There's four points total. Not the four points you want, but but the four points you deserve. Probably. I mean, think about think about minus eight credits right now. Imagine if he had eight more credits on the board. He would feel a lot better about life. It'd be incredible, right? But you kind of needed something <clears> to counterbalance the fact that that was set up so quickly. Gets the data sucker counter as well. That's just a nice, solid, solid play. 
everything you want. Colin feeling probably a little bit, a little bit under the under the curve here. He needs to start pulling out of this thing, and I don't know. Once noise is four points up on you, and you haven't scored anything, you're low on cash. I think he just starts milling you and uh, going for the hail marys here. Two points here, two points there. Game daily, over. Daily cast. So he's about to play. Gains a credit. No. Gains a credit. More, more money. All right, just the cash. Money, money, money. And the Plascrete goes There's away. There's some money. Oh, credit. Install uh, over there, gaining a credit and playing a hedge fund. So now Colin kind of back breathing again. That is got what his, Colin needed. Got his head above water. He it is what he needed. a hedge fund there. And back over to Steppen. Now, now here we go. Three on. Oh, two on the deja vu, and that's going to get some money, money, money. Man, Cash, man. Never has deja vu been such a good card. Grimoire really makes this thing tick, but haven't seen it yet and some builds dropping it entirely do you know that i did know that um i think that's a mistake it's but called, i did know that it's called crazy town builds yeah why would you not want a grimoire in this deck i don't know you need the memory you need the extra virus you don't need the extra virus times but you, do you want need them. the memory yeah you can't play two uh catches this turn I don't know. Does he have the cards? Yeah, you can lower it. Yeah, down. he definitely does. One and then three cards. Well, we'll do it. Your plan is the best plan, apparently. Aesop's, Aesop's wild side. That's, oh, Imp. That's my favorite mm -hmm. break right there. And then Turing's one counter. And then one counter off David for Turing. There we go. And let's see if we got any reses here. Breaker Bay, Ash. So that's gonna throw the ash up. Trace four is gonna happen. Pay it. Well, no, we and we could we could bump it. You pay it. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't go through and just trashes the ash there. So, you know the the other cards of CVS, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so then it doesn't. Yeah, obvious, obvious. <clears throat> Does he not have to access that? The ash. Oh, right, the ash. Sorry. I keep thinking he paid the trace. That's where my head's at. You know why? Because I, I would have foolishly. Because it's the wrong call entirely. If you know the CVS is down there, why are you going to beat the trace? There's no reason. Except just to try to get rid of the breaker bay, but eh. It's not what you want. Yeah, it's not great. Man, this engine is so good. It's just it's just chugging right along. It is firing on all cylinders right now, Steven. Yeah, it's like a, it's a four cylinder, but it's completely reliable. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I hear you. It's just consistent. It's, it's not like lighting any worlds on fire. It's not it's not lighting itself on fire like your engine was this morning. Well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Tim's car exploded this morning. That is that is true. It's factual. Time for a new car. It is. Took to the mechanic and he said, "Hey, your engine exploded. That's the problem. Here's your problem. <laughs> you need more engine juice." Yeah. <laughs> your blinker uh, fluid was fine, though. Thank goodness. Save the blinker fluid. All right, one click for a cash. Just a money machine. Who would have thought? And just another another discard here. So we're stacking. We got a couple in the archives. The game could be in archives right now. Well, we're gonna check it. There's two. And sees an architect toll booth. I can't complain about that. <laughs> no. I cannot complain about not that. Not one bit. Third click. What do you think's on that peddler up there? Oh, uh, the man. Maybe could be an imp. We already saw one discarded for uh, for that Faust break. So might not want it, might not need it. And if he had Grimoire out, of course, he could install the Yimp before he accesses Archives, get a free card, you know. Mm-hmm. Be fair. But you gotta, you got to kind of worry about the double CVS, right? Are these HP decks running, too? Yeah. So one could be face down in Archives <clears throat> when you make that run. Ah, it's kind of scary. I, I mean, I don't know that he's running, too, but, I mean, it's not out it's of, not the, out of the question. You've got you to honor it, we'll say. He wants memory real bad right now. Yeah, so... Uh, Going to lower it by two and pay two cards to break Eli. And a Parasite. That's and fair. why not? I... 
Do you not just parasite that? Mm -mm. Oh, no, not when you can steal an NAPD contract. Man, minus 12 money on the access game. Access the upgrade. They didn't access the upgrade. Oh, no, what was it? I don't know. What was it? I don't know. I wasn't watching when he installed it. All right, Colin, finally into some money here. And his HQ, little do we know, is loaded with two, two agendas two there. Two foods. How about in three NAPDs? Whoa. Yeah, that is just... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Steve Amoli. You gotta vomit twice sometimes. Sometimes even thrice. In the game of Netrunner? In the game of life. Man, this is just... I'll tell you what, this is just kind of... Uh, it's like making biscuits, almost. It's like making biscuits. You're just following the recipe here, you know? Bring your caches out. Uh, Are the caches cash the, the... There's the grimoire. The, 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 the mystery is solved. Grimoire hits the board. Imp comes out for three. We get a discard off the top. And then we run R&D. Seeing an ash. And imping it away. Prevents the access, and another ash in the garbage. Wrap around, not looking great, and that's going to clear that David off so that Steppen can sell, can it. sell it to Aesop's next turn. Boom. We call that big money. It's hard to call Steppen big money. Big money. Installing over R&D, covering it up. Just covering some holes. Installing in the remote, and Pain Colin too. can start to make some plays here. He can start to make some plays. Once that Adonis ticks off, he can go right for that. Uh, he can go right for that global food, if he wants to. Right for that global food. You got a CVS in there. Nobody wants to access that. No, no. Who? Who? Nobody. It could also be the fourth NAPD contract. It'd be a real bummer. <laughs> that would not be what you want. That's illegal. That actually is what you would want. Yeah. <laughs> DQ. Uh, my opponent. All right, now over to Steppen. Going to play out another cash. How many cash are you packing in this deck? Goodness gracious. The answer is three. And three deja vus? Two deja, deja vus? vus? And clone chips, I'm sure. You clone chip for a cash only in the poorhouse, my friend. You clone chip for a cash all day. Man. All day, every day. That's all, eight, eight credits. All day. I'll clone chip for eight credits. Yeah, that's fair. That is true. With the Grimoire out, it makes it a lot burner. Six credits? How many credits? It's six credits. All right, now we got the play here. We're going to Parasite the Wraparound. Wow. Boy, I'm tempted just to blow up Eli's. Now, I, I'm tempted to do that no matter what's happening, but... And then running Archives. Is this the game? Is this it? No. But Purges. he's a CVS. Oh! Ouch! That's exactly what we were talking about earlier. That is. That's what you got to worry about. But we do see a Jackson and the trash over there, which is good. Colin can put the duty can put the gas on here. This is a good time to put the gas on. I think I would trash that Adonis and go for it. You got to. Yep. He's got to honor it. How does he get through the turn? You know, like, does he run first click? I. Yes. But can you afford to install advance twice here? Nope. I'm gonna play it safe. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Not sure. Whew. That CVS is a bummer. Yeah, CVS in the garbage now is gonna be a real pain. Every time he goes to check for those agendas. Some of that cash with his Aesop's Pawn Shop to gain three credits. Street Pilot remains over there, awfully quiet. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. And then one tick on Adonis remains. Now keep in mind, HQ, by the way, is wide open. Loaded. Loaded up. And if, if, I'm, if I'm stepping, I don't ever parasite a wraparound, okay? Just never. But that Eli, that's real tempting. I think he could have even blown it up with uh, that data sucker play, too. I'm just tempted. I think he might have been trying to blow up the wraparound. There's a clone chip. Yeah, and then it didn't happen, did it? Yeah, because of the CVS. Because the old CVS. The pharmacy from hell. <laughs> Draws his card there. Two clicks remain. 
Two free cards wasn't enough, Skippin? It wasn't enough. It never is for these noise players. And boom! Data suck. Third data sucker. Discarding a card here. Gets his virus counter. And now is going to run R&D. And sees an EG 2.0. Oh, baby, we better hope Street Peddler's doing some work. Clone chip for David I here. I mean, he can do a lot of things here. He's fine. If he does, if he has to deal with this, which he will, he will have to deal with it and, and, and do it, but I think now's a great time to score for Colin after this this goes around. Or do you just take the program trash? What do you care? What you is a clone it, chip. What's it going to be? T Data Sucker Faust? Yeah. Do you really care? Probably. You care about fast. And it's a trace three, and you don't want you don't want him to start trashing your your Aesops and your wild side. So that's fair. All right. So there's the David comes out. Three counters. Gonna lower it and Faust it away. There goes the medium. Hmm. For strength. And then. I'll tell you what, the, the counter, I've, I've said this a moment, the counter to this deck is that Wayland agenda that burns the runner's cards off the top of their deck. I'm telling you. Just run them out of deck. Just deck the runner. They can't use fast anymore. All right, so broken. And then one David on the wraparound. And we see one card here, and we get three data sucker counters. Could be the game, guys. Could be the game. Here it is. Not the game. Not the game. Not the game. Collins on, I mean, now is when you do it, right? Do you do it now? I don't know. Do you do it now? David Faust is really strong, man. I don't know. It's it's interesting because install gaining a credit and then gaining more more cash. So it could be a 3-2 in there. Collins is so far behind right now. He is so far behind. We need to have a virus counter on that parasite. There it goes. Boom. On it. Nailed it. Here, here's the other thing. Colin has an on-demand TDS whenever he wants it. He does. You're so right. And that's scary. That is a good point, Tim. Thank you. I'd forgotten about that, actually. For free. For free. Because of the Breaker Bay Grid. Dang. All right, first click. Need to seal this one up before it, uh, it starts turning HB. Bop. Draw. First click draw, not as exciting he as I was hoping. He's almost out of cards. So one of those is something that he wants, unless it was just a Faust draw. Which is possible. Two, run an HQ, this is a good choice. This could be the game here. This could be the game. Now just imagine, Tim, imagine if he'd Paris out of the E-line. There's the CVS. Now we can imagine realistically, because that would have happened. There's the Ichi. Break it with David. Trace me. Break it with David? What kind of bizarre world do you live in where Ichi 1.0 is five strength? Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I, in my mind, it was 2.0. <laughs> ah, yeah. Just click through, man. Yeah, you, yeah I think you click through, right? Oh, tough decisions. But you're, on, you're six to zero. Don't take any chances here. But you do want those th those three data sucker counters look really nice right now. If nothing but for the beauty. The beauty of the counter. I play for the beauty of the game. I do. I really do. All right, so clicking through. That's correct. Fire the trace. Trace one. Is he going to pump it? Question marks no. abound. No. There's no need to pump this. We've got an upgrade over HQ. He's going to make it a trace too. Pan it. All right, so that's going to create some issues. Eli coming in. And no, he's going to jack out. No big deal. And scores the beta test. Does he trigger it? Yes, he does. Triggering it. That is, that is agendas in the garbage right there. That's exactly what happens with beta test. 
And a total, total uh, play there, right? It's like, oh my gosh, agenda in the archives. Boy, this game has not gone Colin's way. He really was owed a pretty good spread. Three NAPDs out, one accelerated beta, two foods. Interesting. But, I mean, so this is really just get a, well, he doesn't have any cards left for Faust. Ah, he so, has a full hand, though. It's so fascinating, He though. can just run our archives, click through the Eli. Click through, and, and break, then break, 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 yeah. But does he... Now, what if this is a total bluff? Well, we know it's not. Now, we right, know it's right. Not. I mean, I think you still have to check it. You probably check it, yeah. Do you, though? Yeah, yeah, you check this. You check it. You totally check it. Check it. You, to you do check it. I think, right? I think so. Or do you install a couple viruses and then check it? Sure. But uh, then you gotta click through, you gotta click through, you gotta click through. So maybe install a virus, run, click, click. Uh, but then you're, you're low on Faust cards. It's not that bad, though. There's the virus. Color me uh, calling this correctly. Run, <laughs> click, click. And here goes the architect. Strength, break, break. Game. And there Boom. it is. Game over. And Woo. we have just, that is just noise. That is, like I said, it's making biscuits. Follow the recipe. HB Food. Colin just didn't get the tools that he needed early. You need to have that early pressure on noise with the economy assets. Didn't find it. And uh, that's what you get. There it is. Yeah. Right there. 8-2. Classic biscuits deck. Thanks, thanks for watching here, guys. We got more coming for Netrunner Worlds 2015. We love you. Stay tuned. See you guys.